Hello middle schoolers, this is Mr. Hochsprung and I wanna go over a couple of tips to help you get ready for the math test that we're gonna be taking on May 26th and May 27th. All right, so usually you have a teacher there to help you out, but to this time around, you're gonna have a teacher remotely there to support you. So you're gonna to need to kind of check out a couple things on your own to make sure you're ready to go for the test. And I'm gonna go over two of those things right now. First thing first, you need to log off of your Chromebook so that you get your login screen. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to click on apps. If you click on apps, you should see an icon that says NWEA Secure Testing. It should be listed in the middle there. If you have that, check one. You are almost set for this test. Now, if you do not see this app, if you do not have the NWEA Secure Testing app, you need to email your teacher and your teacher will then email the tech department so that they can make sure that that gets installed on your Chromebook. Make sure that your Chromebook has been shut down all the way and turn it back on to make sure any updates have happened. If you email your teacher and they say that this app has been installed for you, you're probably gonna have to restart your Chromebook to make sure that it shows up so you can use it. Now, when you click on it, it opens up to this page. We've seen this before. This is not our first map test. Most of us have taken two map tests this year. And if you're a seventh or eighth grader, you've taken them last year as well. Now, when you go to the NWEA screen and this pops up, you're gonna see a session name and a session password. This information is gonna be given to you by your teacher before your test. It's going to be something that is case sensitive, so they're gonna share it with you. You're gonna to need to jot it down on a scrap piece of paper so that you can get it correct. Once you type that in, you're gonna be logging in to the test that your teacher is gonna have you take. For this particular video, this is as far as we're going. Now, if your NWE app, app does not want to load, if it gives you something that says the screen resolution is not correct, that means we're gonna to have to check that out. Now, if you wanna check this out, and I really strongly recommend that you do this. I'm telling all my students they need to do this. You need to log yourself in. So I am using a login I'm familiar with. Let's see. And get this person logged in. Now we need to check our screen resolution. That has to do with what size your screen is. Um, is it displaying the text really big, really small? This app is pretty picky about that. So I'm gonna come over here to my clock. Oh, where are you? Settings, all right, log in with Google. Log in to Clever, that's always a good idea. Then I'm gonna minimize this and go down to my clock section. If I go here and click on it, I am looking for this little gear wheel right here, my settings. Now I wanna go here and it's gonna bring up a bunch of different stuff you can look into. The nice thing is there's a search at the top to make it easy to find. You're gonna type in resolution, R-E-S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N. Oh, I went too fast. Now resolution should show up. I want to go to manage accessibility features right here. If I click on that, I am now looking for open display device. So right here, open display device settings. If I click on that, I should see this little slider right here. Now this particular Chromebook is set at 90%. So when they try to take that test, it might not work. So what you have to do is you have to slowly click and drag and get it right there to 100%. So it's like one click to the right of tiny. Now, once you do this, you're almost all set. You can just close right out. Let's see, there's no save here. I can just close right out of that. Should change my resolution a little bit. And now I can log off of my Chromebook. Oh, and then you can see a little reflection there. It should bring me back to that main screen, and this is where I would log in from. Now, if you happen to try to log in and it doesn't work, 
this is the steps you're going to take to change that resolution. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, remember, email your teacher. And I hope you have a great day. Good luck on the map test.